So we organized this meeting uh, in the goal of uh, trying to, ha uh, to have an enriching agreement. So after the, the conversation we had, uh, we had yesterday where we understood there were some, some issues that we needed to, uh, to tackle and uh, you know, to find a, a resolution. So I, uh, I'm here today here with, uh, with Antonio, who is uh, our general manager. So I really want to show, you know, want to show the, the commitment from Microsoft to, to make this deal with you. To, so you can understand really that uh, this is a, you know, a, a deal that we, uh, we really want to do. You know, we really value the, the business that we can do with, uh, with you. And we understand also you have some concerns. But today, I think that it's, uh, it's the right time and the right place to uh, to address them, to discuss them, understand you know what is exactly the concerns you have, because I understood there is some risk that you you uh, think there is about uh, you know some financial exposure that uh, we don't think is, is uh, necessarily there, but you know we need we need to uh, we need to, uh, to discuss it a little bit so we can understand your concerns, we can explain you know what is our point of view, and then see if we can if we can move forward. Well, we certainly appreciate you taking the time to come and meet with us. Just to clarify, mm -hmm. what we're primarily concerned about is the intellectual property exposure. And we've been very clear on that throughout these negotiations. And frankly, we're quite frustrated in that we have not been able to resolve that to date. So what is, what is exactly the issue that uh, you see in terms of the intellectual property? So we've spent quite a bit of time explaining that to mm -hmm. you already. Are you unclear on it, or do you need me to explain it to your manager? I think it's well, as Ezekiel has already explained it to me, but I'd rather hear it directly from you, just to make sure that he has uh, uh, committed or trans tra uh, transponded your message precisely. So we, we've discussed it already. We, in fact, have already discussed it with uh, our lawyers, and. We have our, our own uh, understanding of the situation, but I'd rather hear it directly from you. From our perspective, you own the product. It's a product that we're purchasing from you. So you've created the product, which means you've ensured that the IP protection, which we're uh, acutely aware of and mm -hmm. very concerned about, is something that you have control over. We do not. And in order to proceed with this transaction, we need an insurance policy or some sort of comfort to ensure that we aren't taking on additional exposure by utilizing your product. So I am a little puzzled as to where the confusion runs. I'm well, working, if I could finish, yep. I'm a little puzzled. Uh, as to where the confusion lies on your side, in that I've been very clear on explaining to you uh, and your contemporaries that the IP protection in this particular situation is critical for us, and it's something that we're asking you to guarantee. It's your product. Right. And